Well, about five years ago, the Hillary Clinton for President campaign paid a British spy called Christopher Steele to produce a document now known as the Steele dossier, which despite the fact was fraudulent, really hamstrung the Trump administration virtually for the entire four years. That dossier claimed that Russian hackers were operating in the Russian consulate in Miami, even though, for example, there is no Russian consulate in Miami, among other false claims. The dossier said that Donald Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, made secret trips to Prague. Now, if Cohen had been to Prague, he probably would have said so, since he turned on Trump completely, but he swore he didn't. Most famously, the dossier said the Russian possessed a lurid tape that they were using to blackmail Donald Trump, the famous P tape. All this was false, and yet in a new documentary, Christopher Steele says, maybe not surprisingly, he stands by all of it. And today, do you still believe that that tape exists? I think it probably does, but I wouldn't put 100% certainty on it. So how do you explain if that tape does indeed exist, it hasn't been released? Well, it hasn't needed to be released. Why not? Because I think the Russians felt they'd got pretty good value out of Donald Trump when he was president of the US. Anything you believe you got just wrong? The interview I gave to Mother Jones. That was a mistake. I think so, yeah. But not the P-tape, not Michael Cohen in Prague, not Carter Page. None of those things, to my mind, have been disproven. Totally destroyed Carter Page's life, by the way. The P-tape, I've never seen it. Nobody knows it exists, but it probably exists because Trump sucked up to Russia so much, which, by the way, the administration sanctioned like eight times during those. The whole thing's demented. And yet the media seem intent on rehabilitating this Christopher Steele guy. Why is that? Well, here's one clue. Later in the interview, Steele warned that if Donald Trump runs again, he'd be a threat to national security. He's making moves, perhaps, Trump is, to run again in 2024. Do you think if he runs again, he's a threat to the United States national security, to the national security of the United Kingdom? Yes, potentially. <laughs> a threat to our national security. <laughs> this is a country, we live in a country where our national security establishment sincerely believes or claims to that Russia is the greatest threat we face. Anyone who thinks that is by definition a threat to our actual national security because that's absurd and it's a distraction from the looming threat from the East, obviously. But the question is, how does someone like Steele, who's a buffoon, not even an American citizen, have the power to influence our political system so completely? Kash Patel lived this. He's a former White House Intel Committee National Security Advisor. Devin Nunes is ranking member on the House Intel Committee. He was the chairman when Republicans controlled the House. They've spent years on this dossier. They both join us tonight. Thank you both very much for coming on. Cash to you first. So Christopher Steele, I would assume, since you know an awful lot about the details in this dossier, you believe owes the world a groveling apology, not to put words in your mouth. <laughs> An apology would be starters. Thanks for having us, Tucker. Look, Devin Nunes was uh, strong enough to lead the charge that unearthed the false allegations in the dossier that the Hillary campaign paid for it. More fraudulently, crooks like Lisa Page and Peter Strzok, coupled with Christopher Steele, ran a false investigation into Trump for 14 months. Not just one FISA application, four FISA applications. And this guy now start, lit the world on fire, and he now wants an us to apologize to him for misleading millions of Americans. I think that is the height of hypocrisy, and that is why people hate the FBI uh, so much, including Christopher Steele as its greatest source in the last 20 years. Yeah, that's for sure. So, Congressman Nunes, I mean, one of the effects of the Russia hoax was to prevent the last administration from cleaning house in the permanent bureaucracy. And maybe, just to guess, you tell me that's one of the reasons the so-called intel community and the DOJ, the second Biden took over, were still there in full force to, you know, take away the civil liberties of Trump voters. Well, I would also say, Tucker, that most of the people that were involved in the so-called P-tape and the dossier got promotions uh, yeah. by the Biden administration. So they, they were resurrected, old Obama people. But, you, you know, furthermore, you have to remember, it's still himself who was actually working for Russians, okay, in the past. And what did he do? He interfered in our election, the very thing he said, he's claiming in this documentary that he was trying to protect. He's some kind of patriot. It's just, it's, it's comical. Well, it is comical. Cash Patel, I wonder, can you think of anybody? So here you have a history changing lie. This is not just the earth is flat kind of thing, but this was a lie with the purpose to hamstring a democratic elected administration. Has anybody ever been held accountable for this that you're aware of? 
No, not internally at the FBI, but I hope John Durham's on the march to, to secure indictments against. Look, Christopher Steele and the FBI knew from jump that the information was bogus. They fed it to a court anyway, and they lied about it in the media and possibly leaked classified information. This guy is no hero. He is no James Bond. He's Inspector Gadget on Sudafed, and now he's crying for the world to love him. Let's not forget the lives he wrecked along the way of American citizens and the likes of myself and Devin Nunes, because we exposed it. He came after us along with the fake news media, and we're fighting on. That's for sure. And I wish you had more time, because both of you guys suffered personally. I hope you will come back to explain how your own lives changed in the middle of all this, because I know that they did. Cash Patel, Devin Nunes, thank you both. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.